Hey guys, in this video we're going to start covering how to work with MIDI in Cubase 12. We're going to go over how to use MIDI and instrument tracks as well as setting up some of the MIDI instruments that are in the Cubase Pro version. If you're following along with a different version, you can always use your own free virtual instruments to get started. We'll cover the basics in this video and then we'll get into how to use the key editor, drum editor and the instruments themselves in another video. There are two ways to use MIDI in Cubase 12. The first way is with track instruments. First we'll start off with an instrument track. The instrument tracks are what hold our VST instrument plugins in Cubase 12. They're also given a channel on the mix console. Instrument tracks take in a MIDI signal and can have a MIDI signal saved to their track, and output audio just like a pre-recorded audio track. You can think of them as a bridge between MIDI and audio. Instrument tracks are added in the same way as an audio track like in the last video. When we get the Add Track window, we select Instrument and then we get a drop down to select the instrument plugin we would like to use. We should have access to all Cubase 12s included and our third party instrument plugins when we select this. Below we can see that the audio is being sent to the stereo output. We can also name the track and select how many tracks to add. Once the instrument track is added, make sure to actually load an instrument from within the instrument window itself so you'll actually have an instrument that will play. The other way to do this is with what's called a rack instrument. To add a rack instrument, we need to go to the right zone and switch to the VSDI tab, then right click on that panel we get and select add rack instrument. It will ask us if we want to add a MIDI track to it. We can choose to or choose to add a MIDI track separately. I'll cancel that to show you how it's done. It's the same as adding a regular track and we just select MIDI as the track type instead. With this done, let's look at what we have for our tracks now. We have a MIDI track with just the default instrument routing so far. We've also created a folder with the VST instruments with the Halion Sonic SE Virtual Instrument plugin outputs in it, and this is basically what's going to show up on our audio outputs. To get the MIDI routed to the right spot, we need to tell it to send the MIDI track output to the Halion Sonic SE MIDI instrument and set the channel to channel 1. If we want to send multiple MIDI tracks to the instrument, we can send them on different channels. I'll add a second MIDI track underneath it to do that. This will also be routed to the instrument and we'll put it on channel 2. Now we need to get the instrument to play sounds with the MIDI signal. Open the instrument plugin from the right VSTI zone by clicking the E button on that plugin to open the window. On the left side of the plugin we can see all the slots or channels. Our keyboard 1 track goes to slot 1 and keyboard 2 goes to slot 2. What we'll do now is add the tremor synthesizer to the first slot, that way channel 1 will play through this synth. We'll add the soft slide synth pad to the second slot. This is the default for the instrument plugin itself, but all the slot MIDI channels are actually adjusted from the MIDI tab. Each slot has a corresponding MIDI channel on the left that can be reassigned if we needed to. Basically what we have programmed so far is that MIDI track keyboard 1 is going to slot 1 on the MIDI plugin which is playing the tremor synth and MIDI track keyboard 2 is going to slot 2 on the plugin which is playing the soft slide synth. The issue so far though is that they're both being sent to the same output so there's no way to mix them independently. To fix this we need to go back to our instrument window. Now we can go to the mix tab and set each of the inputs to their own output. If we open the bottom zone and set it to Mix Console, we can see as it's playing that we have two separate channels now for the audio outputs of our instrument, meaning we can adjust them all separately. More mixing and effects processing can be applied within the plugin, but I usually prefer to do it from the main project Mix Console. So with that we've covered how we can set up a MIDI track to play through an instrument, both as an instrument track and a rack instrument. In previous versions of Cubase, instrument tracks were not available, so rack instruments were the only option. Now with instrument tracks available, I recommend using them over rack instruments. Although there were some concerns with rack instruments being more resource efficient on a computer since they may only load a few plugins instead of multiple instances of this, this has been tested and found to not be the case, with instrument tracks potentially offering improved performance. 
Rack instruments also have the disadvantage of requiring more time to route each individual MIDI track to an instrument, setting the instrument to play a certain synthesizer on each channel, and setting the synthesizer up to output to a different audio channel, that way they are not combined. To put it simply, use track instruments over rack instruments in Cubase 12. The only time MIDI tracks alone would be an advantage is using a hardware synthesizer where you will be sending the MIDI signal through your audio interface's output to the synthesizer and recapturing the audio output from the synth on an audio track. In this video we've covered how to use the core MIDI signal routing functions in Cubase and getting our track set up. In the next videos we'll look at the instruments themselves and how to use the MIDI keyboard editor and drum editor. Thanks for checking out this video on the basics of MIDI tracks and instrument tracks in Cubase 12. If this video helped you out, don't forget to give it a like, subscribe to the channel, and follow us on social media.